Hi, today we're going to use a Cleviscope FRA to measure a mini circuit's bandpass filter. We're going to check out its response and see that it conforms to the datasheet. On the back, we're connected to the signal generator with a T connector and two 10 dB attenuators. These are used to ensure that the filter sees 50 ohms. On the front, our stimulus goes into channel A and the response out of the filter goes into channel B. Right, I'll start the sweep. The sweep progresses from 1 MHz up to 65 MHz. We're using a SIGGEN amplitude of 6 volts peak to peak. That's because we've got 10 dB attenuators after the SIGGEN output so that the filter that we're using sees 50 ohms. It works much better if it sees input of 50 ohms and an output of 50 ohms. We've set the amplitude axes to amplitude in dB because we have a very wide dynamic range. As you can see, we're down here at minus 90. Uh, we are interpolating the plots so that we get all the points filled in. Uh, we're using narrowband analysis because that leads the best signal to noise ratio. Uh, we're using response filtering because that also improves signal to noise ratio. And uh, we are using a 50 hertz bandwidth to get maximum dynamic range. As you can see, our dynamic range is around 90 dB. So this is the Mini Circuits BBP30 bandpass filter. It's a 30 megahertz centered bandpass filter. You can see the filter extends from about 26 to about 34 megahertz. The center frequency is about 30 megahertz. I'll just put a marker there. And the phase, as you can see, extends from about 200 hertz down to minus 200 hertz with a center point of zero degrees at the center of the filter. As you can see, the FRA is a useful tool to measure the bandpass response of filters up to 65 megahertz. This filter conforms well with the datasheet values.